that image of you, the first image of you out of hospital, you're completely covered in bandages. <laughs> Your eyes were the only thing visible. Yes, I was unrecognisable, all hidden. It was pretty daunting looking back at those photos because sometimes I don't even remember what I looked like. I, I didn't have to see myself for a long time. So seeing myself bandage up like that in those photos, that was new for me as well. Seeing one of my best friends in that kind of situation, it was completely, uh, turned my world completely upside down, pretty much. Yeah, it was just, it was very um, confronting to just see her with all these tubes in her and having to have 24 hour care and not being able to talk to her, but yeah, and pretty much not being able to recognise her from what she was when I saw her, like, less than a month before that. So you were burned from your ankles all, all the, the way? All the way up. All the way up. Yeah, I was burnt from the ankles all the way up. And I think it's good to take progress photos because when you're looking at yourself every day, mm. you don't notice it as much. Yeah. It brings you down if you don't see the changes. It doesn't keep mm. you motivated or determined. I've also had to wear splints for my hands. I've had to use a mouth retractor, go through scar, massage therapy. I've gone through a lot, but I've tried my best to take it all on so that I could be the best that I can be and improve as much as I, as much as possible, really. I'm so good. That's I got to see her make a lot of progress. All right, what should I yeah. be doing? You literally just go to the right. That's literally what this game is. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that complex. Don't hit that, though. OK, yeah. I hit it. Oh, no, no I didn't. So when she was first moved to from ICU to the normal ward, I was still a little bit worried. But when when she started, like, requesting, like, solid foods, like Nando's, Krispy Kreme and stuff like that, I was kind of like, OK, I think, she, I think she's going to be OK with all of this. Do you have an idea of your ongoing treatment? What lies ahead for you? I do have an idea. I know that surgeries will be a constant in the future, especially with my hands, the function in my hands, and also my face. Because oh, the scars do that. tighten okay, so and contract, I know that the, like, the surgeries we have performed on my hands on to the, improve okay, the gap so in between my fingers will tighten again over time and they will need to be repeated. Last surgery, we tried to yeah, cut in between a here a bit more. Get rid of that webbing. The same might be needed for, just say, my mouth. I also will need CO2 laser um, all over my body. And therapy will be a constant. I kind of put myself in her position and I don't know if I could have been as strong as her. It's just incredible to see how, like, how motivated and positive she's been throughout all this. What do these photos represent for you? I think it represents just how much I've been through and what I've had to overcome. But it also represents being comfortable within my own skin and being proud of what I've achieved and will still have to achieve in the future. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.